Good morning from Seattle, Washington. It's Robin Fritz and it's time for Coffee and Cosmos with Robin. So um, let me know who you are, where you're chiming in from today. Last week we got interrupted with a Facebook glitch, but um, I want to continue our conversation from last week. We were talking about feeding our spirit. I want to talk about what's right with you because a lot of times we don't think that there are things that are right about us. So I want to talk about that. We're going to do a meditation with the Crystal Fallon, the Crystal of the Week. And if you have a question, uh, for me to look at for you or comment, please join in here because this is interactive and it's our place to gather together once a week to share what's going on with us and to look at the issues in the world and how we fit in and what we're up to. So again, welcome to Coffee and Cosmos with Robin. My name is Robin Fritz. I'm an intuitive and spiritual consultant, a certified past life regression specialist based in Seattle, Washington. I'm here each week on Facebook Live and I do a radio show at ometimes.com radio um, twice a month, the first and third Mondays. So today's show at two Pacific time, five Eastern is on working with our crystals as partners. So grab a crystal this afternoon and join in. We're going to have lots of fun. Plus, I'm going to tell some stories that I've never told in public before. So thanks for chiming in. Um, Valentino, great. Let me know where everybody's from. But let's get started here with a quick meditation with a crystal Fallon. Take a good look. I'm going to just put him right in front of my face here. You'll probably see me through him. Fallon is citrine, Lemurian quartz, and those are all planes inside of him. If I can twist him at a certain angle, you might even be able to see the rainbow. But Fallon is an ancient healer and truth bringer, so as you gaze at him, take your attention to the top of your head, and we're just going to get grounded and balanced here together. So breathing down from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. Just let the cares of the day wash away and get here and be part of this community. Breathing down from the top of your head, down your face, your shoulders, your chest, your hips, your knees, and your feet. The top of your head to the bottom of your feet. Just feel the cares of the day washing away. <coughs> Excuse me. And now breathing up from the bottom of your feet, past your knees, your hips, your chest, your shoulders, your face, and the top of your head. <coughs> Sorry, I have a lot of dust in the air here in Seattle. So um, how can you get certified in past life regression? Great question. Um, I live in the state of Washington in the United States um, a certified regression specialist is a licensed hypnotherapist. And so you have to take training that um, ties in with the state. Not every state requires that, and I don't know about other countries. So um, send me a note, um, Nancy. There are um, past life, you can like Google past life regression and find different places to um, study with. Make sure the person you study with has been doing it for a while and has all the certifications because um, there are some people out there that aren't as good as others. Um, you can also contact the Brian Weiss Institute, W-E-I-S-S, -S, and they might have links there. Um, but it's pretty amazing. Past life regression is totally amazing. And I love doing it um, as a hypnotherapist as well as an intuitive um, because hypnotherapy turns out to be what Fallon and I have always done together, which is help people get grounded and balanced in the space. But it also allows you to let your soul speak out, which is amazing uh, for people to just hear their souls talking to them. So for the top, it actually fits in pretty well, Nancy. So thanks for bringing that up. It fits pretty well with my theme today. Last week I was trying to talk about how we feed our spirit and then Facebook just glitched out on us and I came back on. 
But I've had some emails in the meantime, so I thought I'd go back to that subject, how we feed our spirit or what's right with us. And, and the reason for that is, is a lot of times we always, we feel that we're not good enough. And I know I felt that way for a lot of my life, especially when I became handicapped and couldn't work for years. I felt like I had no value, no worth to myself or to anyone else. And I would find myself saying that. I don't have any value or I'm not good enough or I deserve to be in pain. And none of that is true. It's just this trap that we fall into when things go wrong. So the question then is, what do we do right? What's right with us? So, you know, when we choose human bodies, here's the thing. I think um, humans, being human is a tough job <laughs> because we think a lot. My mother used to tell me, you think too much. We think a lot and we get ourselves into these mind traps and we look at our animals or our crystals or the trees or our own homes and they don't have that level of self-doubt that we have. So when your soul chooses a human body, you're really choosing to up the ante on your growth towards more self-love. So first of all, becoming human is a big job. So congratu congratulate yourself on being human, but quit thinking in terms of bad or what's wrong with us because it's depressing and it's limiting. And as I said, I can tell you that from personal experience. So instead of turning around and saying, what's right with me, right? You'll find plenty of things that are right with you, I promise you. And um, you can start the day thinking that. So you wake up in the morning, do a quick energy healing on yourself, even just cross hands on your heart and invite love and healthy energy in. But start each morning with something that really matters to you, like I am good enough. That, does that feel, make you feel good? Then say it. I am good enough. I take care of myself, mind, body, and spirit. I'm looking forward to a good day. And um, yeah, sounds great, right? And then something happens to throw off your day, or we doubt, or um, something just isn't working right, you know? And that comes with the territory of being human, right? We've all got that. So we can choose to move forward in life. We can choose to work through the blocks that come at us. And we can choose to not have regrets over what we've done. And um, learn to live with it and to move forward and to correct the mistakes that we make. Um, so that we're always moving forward. And that's the thing that I didn't do for many years. And that's the trap that a lot of clients are in when they come to me. And it's like, keep moving forward. So... We make mistakes, right? So acknowledge the mistake. I made a mistake. This is the mistake. How would I do it differently the next time? And what would that mean to me? What would that mean to the people involved, to my family, whether they're human or animals? So we learn what we need to do in order not to make the same mistake again. And the biggest thing is we forgive ourselves. We make a mistake. It's an opportunity to grow. It's not an opportunity to beat ourselves up and say we're not good enough. It's I am good enough and I am learning how to be good enough. Because really, we're here to grow our souls, but we're also here to help the planet to contribute to this evolving conscious planet that we live on. And we do that first by being contained in ourselves and then being able to take that out into the world, right? So um, I have this habit of looking at things that go wrong and go, okay, what went wrong there? What was I thinking? What happened? What were the consequences of that? Um, what worked, what didn't work, and how do I do it differently next time? So try that and see if that works for you. So when we're talking here about spirit, you know, feeding our spirit, moving forward, finding out what's right with us, Sure, it's a mind, body, spirit thing, totally, totally. I mean, you can make yourself physically ill by doubting and criticizing yourself. You can get those emotional blocks that affect us. But what a lot of people tend to forget is that we all have a spiritual team. They're all there to support us, and they can't do anything unless we ask them. So as you go about your day, ask your spiritual team to step in to support you, um, to give you advice, even if you don't hear it, you, they're, they're 
giving you that advice. They're there surrounding you. And that's the extra support that um, we tend to forget to ask for. And it's there, but we have to ask for it. And then work on staying balanced and grounded. Um, when I was uh, first redeveloping my intuitive skills and out working with nature, and I do work with the planet a lot, um, I had to stay balanced and grounded. So I found balance and grounding crystals. Um, a lot of those are black crystals or um, green, dark green crystals. Um, look, in, look in books or look online and find, find crystals that appeal to you for that. I also keep sea salt in all my rooms and bunches of lavender, which you can see up there on my top shelf. Lavender is clearing. Lavender is also really cool to look at. I love the smell of lavender, and it's uh, one of the few things my cat doesn't eat. At least she doesn't eat a lot of it. <laughs> so there are things about your life that are practical, and one of those is the things that you keep in your house. If they're going to entice your animals to play with them or eat them, then you need to move them somewhere else. So to always talking about being practical. So um, questions for me here. Let me go through and see if I can scroll through. Hi, Teresa. South Africa, hi from South Africa. Hi, Judy. Um, Carlene, you need a gastroenterologist who cares about the diagnosis. Okay, everybody, let's put our energy and our good thoughts to Carlene so she can find the right doctor to work with her. I don't know where you're calling from, Carlene, um, but if you have a naturopath in your area, um, I would look to them for a good referral. And also, um, I work with a functional medicine doctor. If you have one of those in your area, they would be a great place for a referral. But of course, we we'll always have to look too at who um, who's involved with our insurance. Um, it seems like you've been having trouble finding the right doctor, as you're saying here. So we're sending our good thoughts to you and today's energy healing for that. Oh. Layla, Layla, is that right? Yes, Layla, you're right. Being human is where we are right now. That's what we've chosen to be in our bodies, and um, and your spirit loves to dance, so that is awesome. I'm a little clumsy, um, but I like the idea of dancing. Um, mostly within the Swedish... Uh, um, Matthias, I'm not quite sure what your question is here. Um, Within the Danish organization, you have a very old dream for a republic in the United Norway, United Norden. Uh, good luck with that. You know, I think there's a lot of revolution and change happening in the world. Um, here in the United States, we always thought of ourselves as a democracy, but we're not actually. We're a republic, so a few can control the many, and that's not working for us right now, as you can tell. Um, and I think there will be a lot of change in the government structure around the world. I have certainly seen um, that the United States would be breaking up into nation states as opposed to one big country. Um, and I think that's happening sooner rather than later. It will be interesting. Um, and you know, that's, that's, that's all part of the changing world, right? Um, let me see if there are any other questions that I can scroll through. Um, Roots and herbs and healing um, and healthy foods. Actually, Diana, thanks for bringing that up because it's really true. If we're putting junk food in, we're giving our body nothing to grow on. Yeah, occasionally it's great. Like this is June in the Pacific Northwest and we have strawberries. Strawberries are great. Strawberry shortcake is a treat, not necessarily good for you, but the strawberry part is great. So. What do we do to keep ourselves healthy? Uh, supplements, herbal things, um, a lot of people like homeopathic remedies or flower essences, all of those things. Um, find somebody that you can work with on those and um, figure out how that feels for you. So someone's chiming in from uh, uh, Florida, Canada, and I appreciate everybody tuning in your first time watching and um, chiming in here with what you're looking for and what you're interested in. So 
here's the thing. We come together every week here, a couple of us on the Humanity Healing page, and we're all about building community. So I invite you to join us each week. Um, you can um, send me a note either here at Humanity Healing or at my own uh, Facebook business page, The Practical Intuitive Robin M. Fritz. And let me know the things that you'd like to talk about on this broadcast, because it's a give and take here for all of us. But um, I also want to cover, once again, the uh, crystal of the week. And like last week, um, I want to bring back rose quartz. Now, this is interesting that I keep emphasizing rose quartz. Um, this is a little piece, and I can't see the color here, um, so I'm not sure if you can. But rose quartz is a pinkish stone. And um, I grew up in a pink house, literally, outside and inside. And so I'm like weirdly traumatized by pink. But um, hey, we all have our issues, right? So rose quartz, though, is uh, a stone for self-love. And it's extremely powerful. And it can also um, be used as a waiting place. But let me um, first bring up... Um, the things about rose quartz that will help you today and not just feeding your spirit but but tapping on what is right with you it's really easy for us to find out what's wrong with us right I mean that's what we're taught to do if you're thinking about what's wrong with you all the time you're not going to step into your personal power and you're going to be controlled by the majority or by the hate or by just the pressure to conform and what the world needs is for each one of you to step into who you really are and make your own unique contribution, whatever it is. And that's amazing. I have a client who's a pastry chef, and he's so thrilled about his pastry. And it is amazing. It's his calling, and we need that. We need everybody to find their calling and do it and make money and be successful and really give back to the world that that joy of life which we seem to dull down around us and rose quartz is good for that it helps it's a gentle soft energy it helps you boost your self-compassion it helps um, you feel peaceful and contentment and it helps you to accept love and give love and accepting love is really hard for us so here's a piece of rose quartz you can get just a small piece Stick in your pocket and carry around when oh, mine is warming up because it likes to be crazy. <laughs> so that would be your reaction to a crystal, having it warm up. So, uh, and that reminds me to suggest you join me this afternoon again at my radio show at ometimes.com radio, the practical, intuitive, mind, body, spirit for the real world. We're talking about how to create a relationship with your crystals. And I'll share some really amazing stories and some tips on how you can actually have a real relationship. And it's not any of that weird stuff like, I'm never going to tell you to go bury your crystal under the light of the full moon, because that's like silly. So I want to thank you for joining me today. And it is my privilege and my honor to be here with you each week. Um, Next week, let's do some more readings for people. So send me a note on things that you'd like me to look at with you and for you. And we can all join in together here. So let's join in with our friend who asked for a gastroenterologist and help her find that energy of acceptance somewhere, someone who's going to help her. And all of you who are feeling self-doubt, we send you that energy of love. Pull it in. You are worthy. You are worthwhile. And we need you. The world needs you. So I want to thank you for joining us today. Again, please tune in to my radio show today. If you want to connect with me, um, find my Facebook page, The Practical Intuitive. If you like these broadcasts, please like the Young Times page, the Humanity Healing page, and my Facebook page. That helps us create more um, opportunities to share and be with you. So thank you again for joining me. I will see you back here next week at this same time. Take care. Bye.